Hey guys, welcome back to Azure Place, Shining Force, Resurrection of the Dark Dragon, where last time we defeated General Elliot and he had a somber death scene where I couldn't actually voice act for the save my life pretty much. This time around we set up the bomb and we got, let's see, one ladder, two ladder, three ladder, but that one doesn't really matter as much. And we had to defeat the Hellhound. Yes, essentially. During my little break, I wound up leveling up everybody, so everybody's at least decently enough. Because, for one, Domingo started off at level 1, Moloch started off, like, really low level, and he's actually, he's incredibly hard level, you'll find out why. But yes, pretty much, this one here is, it's pretty simple, you just gotta move everybody forward and attack. And 3 experience, that's kinda paltry. Because, in this one, come on, there we go, in this one, it's pretty long, yeah, like I said, but we need to win within 10 turns if you want to receive 4,000 gold coins. 10 turns isn't that much, honestly, but let's see, I'm actually going to use step level 2 to bring up everybody from here. That should work. Now everybody can walk quite a further distance. Three, three, three. Everybody can walk three more steps. So that'll get everybody. But the biggest reason why Moloch is a challenge is because his movement sucks. Um, let's see. To get a better idea, yeah, his movement's five. So if you, uh, the best thing you could do is use quick chickens on him if you want him to go pretty far. But cards are the biggest new element of what you can do. Copy gives him the power of the characters on the card. That gives Moloch the powers. Move gives the character on the turn on the card an extra turn. Effect gives other people the effect of the cards. And imitate uh, creates a clone of the character on the card only for allies. So I can't have people like General Elliot and stuff like that. So, if I wanted to give, say, Guns another turn, I use it. And now Guns will be able to go twice this entire battle. It's kind of annoying because his movement stat also stinks. But now that he could go twice in a turn, he'll be able to keep up with everybody. And if there's those people around, he can attack again and again and again. Yeah, having that increased movement is really helpful. It really is. I don't know. Did see if I even get it? I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention to who got it and where. Like, Diane will definitely need it because Diane is kind of... Like, let's see. Gun's got that distance. That was like nothing. Let's see. You just do Blaze level 1. That should be fine. All right. And Max should be able to go forward. This is the biggest initial choke point right there. It's just that starting area. Let's see, raises the speed of a single ally. I really doubt that's how it's gonna work, but why not? Let's give it a shot. Gotta give some experience. I see that it even matters in the long run. You got all these characters. I think on the first time you use the card, the additional turn is at the end of the stack. And then after that, it, uh, it like, places itself depending on agility and all that. So everybody else is gonna go. And let's see what they're gonna do. They are... They see they're just forming a choke point, and it's gonna be annoying to deal with that. Yeah, Guns gets to go again. There we go. Domingo can just go that way. Guns gets his extra turn, but gets blocked right there, but he can go again, so there we go. Uh, can I attack him here? Oh, that's... is that two blocks? It doesn't seem like two blocks to me. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't. I swear it doesn't seem like two blocks, but whatever. Uh, got over there. 
What else can I use? I don't think I could use anything because that kind of like killed my MP. I can use Aura, so that's that's useful. I can use that. Let's see, Moloch gets to go. Hmm. What can I do? I can do the effect, which let's see, that restores. Here we go. So let's use that, and I am actually going to attack. This priest is never going to know what's coming. Yes, Moloch is kind of broken in the fact that he can attack from anywhere if you have the right card set. And that's one major reason why he is broken, because he could just be like, ah, whatever. Uh, let's see, I actually don't want to climb the ladder just yet. Uh, let's have Max go out there. He has the most health, so he can probably... Because what's going to happen, more than likely, is everyone's just going to... You didn't get the extra attack, Max. What are you doing, Max? You're supposed to get the extra attack. You know how this works. Anyways, yes. <laughs> the Pegasus Knights, more than likely, are going to fly up and just go out to the first person on the ladder, more than likely. But, now that I have one of them gone, that's not going to be an issue since that one's not going to attack. The other one's going to move forward, though. So, there's that. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's make use of this quick spell, why don't we? Increases everyone's speed, so they'll be able to go before the rest of, like, the rest of the Pegasus Knights and all that. You get them going. It's, it's, it's gonna work, I believe. I think it'll work. And I feel like it won't, but I have a feeling it will. Uh, this is a bad idea waiting to happen, but let's get rid of it. Okay. That's, you might want to give that another shot. Okay. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. It's Max we're talking about here. Max can take the blows like it doesn't matter. That one's going to go out to Luke. There you go. But no counterattacks. Because, of course. Of course. Hmm. Let's see. They're not going to do anything, but that Rune Knight is going to attack Luke. Okay, he changed up his plan because the other one got in front. Let's see. Hmm. Turn three. Narsha gets the go because I raised her speed. But she's not going to do anything because everyone's stuck on the ladder here. Uh, okay. And Max is right there. So, Guns is screwed, but what I could do is I could show off another ability with Moloch. I'm just going to just hang out for now. Um, you go over here. Alright, so let's go over here, and I believe it is effect... Put that on Gunt. This is going to be cool. Of course, you're not going to be able to save it the next turn. Yep, there you go. This movement type is now flying, so this ladder right here is not going to be an issue. For him, anyway. It's going to be an issue for everybody else until everybody can get off the ladder. But, uh, yeah, this is... <sighs> this is the biggest choke point is this one ladder. Oh, come on, Max. Really? Ugh. Okay. Luke, you better hit that one up there. If you don't hit that one up there, I'm going to be really mad. Because the other one's just going to go right down and make another choke point. Ugh, really? Okay. Well, that's fine, but whatever. Uh, you know what? Uh, you just keep getting 10 experience. I don't even know how long that lasts, but it, it raises their speed by 15, so that, that's some things, and it is doing something. At least they're not creating another choke point yet. Ow. That was it. Oh, there you go. That's what I like to see. 
Okay, Luke, you go over here, and he has one health. Thank you. If you would have missed there, I would have been super mad. And you're gonna attack Max, who would have guessed? Ooh, okay. That's a little bit worrisome. Okay, at least you're attacking Balboroy because I could have ended this battle had you hit Max. This is the first instance of, oh, hey, I could possibly lose a battle because Max was on the choke point and everybody attacked him. But now I got Narsha up there and Narsha can reach. But she does know that, which will be able to hit Max from here. Aura, I believe, yeah, Aura is just basically like a healing spell. There you go. Max now has health again. And I really don't want to do that because that's just gonna like... Okay, so what I gotta do is here. And you know what? You cast Freeze. Because I'm... Like even though he can fly now, I'm still not gonna use the flying ability at the moment. Because it's like... I do need to get everybody up there anyway. Okay, let's see. Balboroy is going to stick out for here for now. And let's see. What other cards do you have? You have Chris's card left. I'm actually going to save that. What does that card do? I forget. Let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to save that for now. I am just going to save that. Where else can you go? You are stuck right there. Okay. Rika, on the other hand, can move out. So there we go. You are past the choke point, and you move up one. Max, how about you actually get out of there so we can move people in? And you should be able to cast... Yeah, you should be able to get rid of that Pegasus Knight for me. And now, that's the initial choke point, just completely obliterated. Chris is kind of stuck there. I could give Chris an additional turn with Moloch's card for her, but at the same time, I could save that just to heal everybody. If that's what I'm thinking it works like, or if it's just like a heal, like an aura kind of deal. I don't know, I never really tested that card, <laughs> but I guess we'll find out. All right, turn five. Now it's the point where we just move everybody up. Really, Luke? <laughs> really? You're just in the one spot that's always in the way? Uh, you know what? Actually... Yeah, let's give Chris an initial turn. I'm not gonna bother with the healing because... It'd be useful to have the healer herself be able to move pretty dang far. And Diane's getting a little shafted in this video, but <laughs> whatever. I guess I'll just have to change my cards around. Because it's, it's kind of hard to figure out what kind of setup you want when you have... I think I have all the cards I can get at this point. I'm not quite sure about that. But it does give me options. I, that looked like it did a lot more than it did. Let's see, let's have Luke go after this one. So we don't have any healing action going on, because that'd be really annoying. Let's see, they're gonna, yep, they're gonna try to block the ladder on me. Because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get stuck on the ladder. Again. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to move everybody up there. Narsha is pretty much just like another Max at this point, except she has a lot of healing abilities as well and a lot of useful spells. So she's useful there.
The nice thing is... Having two turns of a character is really useful, but his movement could use some boosting as well. Oh, I need to get rid of this artillery right there. There we go. Anyways, yeah, that- okay, that's not a good idea, actually. Uh, Max, you stay right there. I need to have, um, you get cured. Maybe, maybe next turn. Luke, on the other hand, actually, that's not a good idea either. Uh, yeah, just just wait it out. See what they do. Okay, that's not what I expected at all. Let's see. You, they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna chill. So they broke up their formation now. So that's actually really useful for me. So what I can do is absolutely nothing with Narsha. Um, Guns, on the other hand, he's actually gonna f go around. He's gonna be a flying giant tank, pretty much. And he's gonna go out to this one. And Guns is one of the new characters I got last, like, episode, pretty much. He is literally a tank. <laughs> so that that's really useful. But now that I gave him like all these little special abilities, I can actually just go up there. So he's probably gonna be the one to end it, no problem. Even though his movement kind of is awful, but you're you're not getting anywhere. Oh wait, derp! I forgot about that one right there. Okay, that didn't help me. I'm gonna need a magic user. You know what? Can Max reach with, uh, Supernova? Yeah, he can! <laughs> that was a lot of damage. He just got wasted. Okay, let's see. Next is going to be Henri, which would have been useful had she gone earlier, but whatever. Okay, now this is going to be useful because now I can heal Max. Can she? Did she go again yet? No, she didn't. Good. Uh, I'm gonna have her go over here and heal Luke as well. The nice thing about having a healer have more turns is because that's pretty much how I grinded her up to match the rest of the party. Is just gave her more turns and made her do stuff. Let's see, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna break formation? They are not breaking formation. Okay. So I'm gonna need to not clutter myself up here if I want to continue this properly. Can I reach anything? Yeah, I can. So I'll attack this overnight and rack them in one shot. I don't know how the hellhound's gonna go, but why not? You know what? Go here, uh, right there. Okay. I did not expect a super attack. And I got the Hellhound card. Okay, that works. Uh, okay, I kind of lost some experience there, but whatever. All right. Differences. One difference I recall is that there used to be a door right down there, and you could enter through there. For some reason, they got rid of the door, but they left the one right there. Can I leave the area, or would that be considered, like, retreating? <laughs> I can leave the area. Okay, so what I can do is I can literally just come back here and go to the priest and save. I mean, that makes sense, because obviously there's another battle coming up. That, that's a given. So let me save right here. Yes. Yes, I'm not going to click no like I've done once before. More than once before, actually. Because when you're spamming through text and you click B, it counts it as no. Okay, here we go. So what do we got going on here? We got... what is a mage? This is unspeakable. My beloved monsters have all been destroyed. That is very unspeakable, I suppose. But what do we got going on here? We have... More stuff, and an empty room, and here we go. Uh, are you gonna save me? You were on the PAL caravan. Who are you? 
My name is Max. I am the leader of the Shining Force. We fight Runefaust. Shining Force? Oh, so that's who you are. Defeating that pet of Balbazax, the Cerberus, is no problem. But then I got stuck here. I demolished that wall, but then I ran out of energy. I can't move another inch. I wanted to take revenge on Balbazak for my family. Come on, Balbazak is still at the harbor. How do you know that? How do you know that? <laughs> you can't give up now. Don't be such a wimp. Huh? You sure talk harsh for a young fella. But I'll give it a shot. I have one request. What? Are you hungry? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Max just turn into a grade A dick or what? Don't be ridiculous, it's nothing like that. When I broke into the fortress, it was a bit crazy. I lost many of my men. I don't know how, but I wanted to defeat Babazak at any cost. I'll join your group if you help me to defeat him. Okay, Babazak is a strong enemy. I'll be glad to have you on my team. <sighs> Can't really mean that. Yeah, especially after you turn into a grade A dick all of a sudden. Be waiting at headquarters. Be sure to put me in the front when you take on Balbazak. Is there a headquarters nearby? Yeah, there is a... Ooh, there's also an item shop. What do we got here? We got... Junk. Okay, same usual junk. How about... What is this? Like how the knight's like, No, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, I got a card. Why not? Uh, I didn't even get to read what that was. <laughs> Just like, okay, card. Why not? Oh, here's headquarters. Anyone have any new stories? Why don't I tell you about the Beastmen of Bestoke? This is a race known as the Orcus. I wonder what they are. If the name suggests these Beastmen are like... I was expecting like Warcraft uh, Orcs, but I guess whales too. They're the largest beastmen. No, duh. <laughs> they can't move well on land, so they live in the sea. The numbers are few, and they swim in the deep sea, so it's unusual to see them. You should keep your eyes peeled when you're out at sea. If you're lucky, you might see one. Okay. Mingle. His body is slightly pink. He seems to be a bit embarrassed. Man was studying images and light, using them to record pictures of people and scenery. This is what he researched. Why was he so determined to carry out this research? There was a reason for this. He had a daughter he loved very much. He was a widower. So she was all he had left. His daughter was the reason he began his research. Okay. Yeah, one of the biggest issues is since I didn't have any of them on my team anymore, they don't really tell me any more of their story. All I want to do is to defeat Runefaust. I'd give my life for that cause. Oh, it's you, Max! Sorry, I was miles away. I was thinking of Balbazak. Okay, creepy. And his friends are mine that killed by his hand. Okay, okay. Maybe I'll talk to you a bit, but give me some time to think. <laughs> give him like two seconds. Like, no! Talk to me now! You're not going to give me any more? First thing Vern saw were soft, transparent things like bubbles. He thought that was the gathering of spirits, those who passed away. Led by the spirits, Vern went even higher. As it was getting harder to beat his wings, difficult to breathe in the thin air, something huge appeared in front of Vern. What, why would you end your story there? Full speed ahead, steam suit secrets part two. Heat source gathering the steam machine is a catalyst, stone filled with blaze magic. It's an incredibly efficient energy converter, but there's possibility um, but there's a possibility of meltdown. Why wouldn't you end your story there? I have. Oh, never mind. Don't expect to just start a conversation with me. Well, actually, I'm a bit worried. I wonder if I'm being any use to you at all. Morlock helped me escape from Windfowls. I hope I'm being of some use to the Shining Force. That's all. I've come a long way, but I'm sorry. I'm not making much sense. I shouldn't ask things like that, I suppose. What's gotten into me? Okay. <laughs> I've done a lot of thinking and I realized something. The purpose wasn't to entertain you with funny stories, but for you to get to know me. So in that case, what should I tell you? Um, my favorite color is white. No. I'm not even lined up with you. Okay. Move. There we go.
So yeah, this is kind of the annoying part about their stories is they stop their stories if they're not in your party. So if you want to know more, you have to have them in your party, which is the most annoying thing. But now we also have a new knight, Ernst. He is, um... Not really that good. <laughs> I mean, he is good, but... Uh, especially compared to the rest of my party, anyway. But he has pretty dang high stats as well. From the start, anyway. In this case, let's see... If I want to show him off, the best person to take out would probably be Xylo. Let's see. There should be a weapon shop around here, I think. Balbazak is the dragon master. Beware the powerful blue dragon that's under his control. It's a good game, but the voice acting, it's just awful. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's that. Uh, let's see, that's the way I came in. Where is... Is there not a weapon shop here? I think there should be. Huh. Weird. Anyways, let's go and save right here. Oh, there's somebody else here. Who are you? Fascinating. Great. So let's make a save really quick. So yes, I will continue my journey here, and I need to talk to you. Save Ernest. Thank you. Or is it Ernest? It's probably Ernest. You save Ernest. Thank you. Now I'll open the door for you. That's the problem with non-voice acted games. Defeat Balbazag. Win within eight turns to receive the Merman Buster. Sounds like a fancy weapon. I guess we'll find out next time on Azure Play, Shining Force, Resurrection of the Dark Dragon. See you guys then.